What's up, Trilogy fam? Welcome back to our final week of this lower body buildup series. I can hardly believe we're here. Thank you for sticking along with me thus far. And if you're just joining me, that's okay too. Welcome. Let's just get right into the warm up and I'll talk while we go. So today we're just gonna start with walking in place, high knees here for a little bit. I'll tell you when to switch. So we're gonna do a little bit of a warm up just like all the other videos. And then our exercises are gonna be now 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. You can do this. All right. And we're gonna switch to a little baby squat with a reach. Baby squat and reach. Baby squat and reach. Don't worry about getting super low with these. I'm just really trying to generate heat right now. Make sure you're sitting into your glutes. Really putting the weight in those heels. Keep breathing as we go. Reach one side and the other. Go. All right, last two here. All right, do some standing single leg curls. Curls, circles. <laughs> So I'll stand on one leg and just kind of circle the opposite leg. Almost like a leg swing, like a pendulum swing like we've done before, except we're going in a circle. We're just trying to loosen any tight muscles in the legs. And you can go either way too. You can go outward or inward, just loosening it up. And then when you feel ready, you can switch about 30 or 40 seconds. We'll spend a little longer time on the separate single leg stuff. Good. Couple more here. Try to keep your balance. I lean onto the wall often, but if you don't need to, don't. Woo. All right, we're just gonna transition right into toe touches. So our feet are wider than shoulder width apart. Our arms are out straight, and we're just gonna stretch to hit the toes. If you can't hit those toes, don't even worry about it. Just give me what you can. And a couple of more here. Then we're gonna do our favorite hip circles. And we'll be warm enough. I'll explain the workout, and we'll get into it. Two more. One here. Last one. Good. All right, readjust, get comfortable. Let's do those hip circles again. Standing on one leg, bringing the other leg up and making a circle. Semi circle. Is it a semi circle? Is it a quarter circle? No, it's like three quarters of a circle. If you know me, you know I'm not good at math. <laughs> Ooh, you feel my hips popping and moving and getting loose. Just a couple more on this side. We'll switch. One more. Good. Switch sides, and again, you can always feel free to do, you don't have to do that same side. You can always switch it each time through. A couple more here, and then I'll explain the workout, and then we'll get right into it. All right, last two. Good, all right, you should feel nice and loose, shake it out, move a little bit more while I'm talking here. If you wanna do that, our exercises are gonna be 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. If you've been here the, the other times, we've built up every week. We started around 30 seconds, then around 40 seconds, and now we're at 45. I feel like you're ready for the challenge. So only 15 seconds to rest here. All the moves, we're starting with calf raises, and then we're gonna do a standing fire hydrant. That's a new one for this series. We'll go to our favorite wall sit. This is gonna be the longest one thus far, 45 seconds. We're gonna lay to the ground, do some leg raises, hit some frog bridges. I'll show you that when we get there. And then we're gonna do our favorite, favorite, 45 degree, 45 second, 90 degree hold. You ready? Let's get right into it. Calf raises, balls of our feet, both at the same time, up and down, up and down. Squeeze that calf at the top and down. 
Now, since 45 isn't that different from 40, but it sort of is when you really look at it, it's almost an entire minute. So I really want you to take your time with these. Not that you haven't taken your time with the other ones, but sometimes when it's only 30 seconds of work, we kind of speed up a little bit. Here it's 45 full seconds. Really focus on your form. Are you squeezing your core? Even when you're doing calf raises, even I have to remind myself and think about it. Couple more here, then you get 15 seconds of rest and I'll demonstrate the next workout. Last one, good. All right, 15 seconds of rest here. Then we're gonna do a standing fire hydrant, just like as if you were on your hands and knees, fire hydrant literally looks like a dog peeing on a fire hydrant if you haven't done these before. Bend in the opposite knee, bring that entire opposite leg up and bend it and bring it up and down. Here we go, 45 seconds here. Slow and controlled, really using that outer thigh, our hamstrings, our quads. Keep the leg flexed and bent this entire time, just like a dog is peeing on a fire hydrant, okay? Really gonna feel it in that opposite leg because that glute is really in a fire. Slow control, more than halfway down with this one. This is gonna feel super awkward. Please lean onto a wall or something to keep you up. Just a couple more here. Last one. Good, 15 seconds of rest. We're gonna do the same thing. Again, imagine like if you've done this before on the ground, on your hands and knees, same thing. Out like a fire hydrant and down. Like a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. Again, switching, opposite knee, all that weight there. Bring the opposite leg up. You can do whichever side you want. I hope you know that. Good. Slow and control, bringing it in and out. You're really gonna feel this here and here. The glute is activating. Both glutes are really gonna be active here. This is really, really good for that stability, especially using that opposite knee to hold us up. More than halfway done here. We get a little bit of a rest before our wall sit. Try to keep that knee in line with the other one that's resting. Oh, well, it's not really resting. Last few, give me two more. One, two, woo! That one's gonna burn me tomorrow. I promise. All right, 15 seconds of rest here. Enjoy every second of it. Then we're hitting our wall set, our favorite, right? I don't know, I think my favorite is the 93 hold. That's my favorite. All right, get in our position. Here we go, back flat. My rug is gonna move again. I'm gonna hold myself up here a little bit, definitely just so I don't get the rug to move so much because I have this, this wood in here and my walls. So those knees are bent, we're at a 90 degree, you should be able to, some you should be able to put a plate on top of your quads and it should not fall. I feel like this might be even more difficult. So if you have something like this in your house, use it. <laughs> Ooh, I can feel everything firing. We have 10 seconds left here, but I do feel so much stronger from all of the other walls that we've done together. So I hope that's how you feel too. Three, two, one, woo! Lord, <laughs> you legs are on fire. All right, I'm just gonna adjust my carpet just a little bit so I don't look crooked the entire rest of the video. And we're gonna lay down. We're gonna hit some straight leg raises. Just one leg up, straight, flex foot at the bottom, slow and controlled, coming down. Don't hit that heel on the ground. Just tap it, don't drop it. We are looking for tons and tons of control here. We're contracting the quad and going up and down and flexing that foot at the bottom. It's gonna be easy to just wanna drop. Don't drop, keep it controlled. We're also using our lower core here, helping us keep stable. So you might think this is a restroom, but it's not. <laughs> Give me two more. Last one, good. All right, 15 seconds of rest. I'm turning around, we're switching sides. Again, you do not have to turn all the way around. I simply do it for the camera. A few more seconds here. All right, here we go, flex that foot. Flex the quad, 
up and down, slow and controlled. Heels in our core, back is flat, don't forget, don't let that back curve, don't let the shoulders come off of the ground. Slow and controlled, we're halfway through. Enjoy this here. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Are your legs just extremely warm? I, I would think so. All right, 15 seconds rest here. Now, a normal glute bridge, right? Our feet are flat on the ground and we bridge up, contract, come down. This one, we're going to have our heels touching and we are going to bridge up just like we would like normal. Let's get it. Without our legs straight, we're bridging like a frog. Slow and controlled, really keep those heels touching, those feet touching. Good. This is a very awkward feeling movement, but it's wonderful for us. Last few seconds here. We're going to our final move. We're going to stand back up. Last one. Woo! All right. Stand it up. Favorite move. Final move. One on each side. Then we're done for today. 45 second. 90 degree hold. The longest we have. Here we go. Hold the wall if you need to. Slight bend in the opposite knee. Keep a 90 degree angle and hold. Really try to remain strong here. We're already halfway through. Did you even know that already? He's doing so fast. Really breathe. Ooh, shake it out if you need to, we're almost done. Take a moment, just a one or two second rest. Come back up, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Don't let it down, don't let it down. It's gonna feel so, so heavy. Three, two, one, rest. All right, 15 seconds of rest. Other side and we're done. Whew. Slim. All right, opposite knee or opposite leg that you're not gonna be raising bend that knee a little bit here we go last move do your best not to drop your foot or your leg if you need to go ahead but try your darndest to keep everything up feel how much strength we've built in just three almost four weeks now today is technically week four just do you feel stronger do you feel like the first time you did this you couldn't even do it and now you're surprising yourself i'm proud of you you don't feel that way, I'm still proud of you. Don't let it drag. Almost done. Three, two, one. Woo! Shake it out, you deserve it. That was awesome. Thank you for joining me for our final week. We have one more workout after this. Grab that one tomorrow or the next day. And thank you for being here for the series.